David's MM7DBT code plug editor. Have a look here. We're on the GD88 or the RT73 DB25 CDR300. Okay, we're on the editor now, and these are all the different tabs that you have. And let's just add a channel for now. So we go right at the end to zones and channels. We've already got some zones here. There you go. Every time you're in a, in a different zone, you're in a different bank of channels. To add a zone, you just right click and click add zone. We've just added one there. We can rename, we call it Andreas zone. So that's how you add a zone, but we're going to go to my hotspot zone, which is where I put all my favorite channels. We'll say we want to add a channel. We just click, we right click and we can click add we can also move it up and down or we can even remove it so we click add and then we're going to start off so it's channel 17 double click it and then it opens up a whole new window we can put in the frequency and i'll keep the frequency because that's the one i use all the time and let's have a look at some settings here the main one is to decide if it's going to be digital or analog so let's in let's do a digital one first so it's digital and when it's digital, the most important thing is the contact. So uh, let's just do local, which is actually talk group nine. Now you would have had to have add that, you know, add a contact. So to add a contact, so we're in zones and channels here, go across to the tab that's called contacts. And these are the basically talk group numbers. Look, local is number nine. So let's just add one to show you. So right click, add contact. And let's say we're going to call it, um, 80 call it 80 we could name it 80 contact it'll it'll be a name like phoenix or low or um local or something like that but the most important isn't actually the contact name that's just for recognition it's the actual number 80 and then the type which is group you nearly always use group although if you use say a parrot you tend to use private so that's it i've done that Once you've got the contact details selected and group, then just click new contact and it moves down to the next line and then so on and so on and so on. We'll go back to our zone channel and the channel we were creating, which is this one here. We can now select a different contact if we want. And there it is there, number 80. And I think that's all you need to do. You've got your frequency, your digital, you can select your power. I would put it into a group otherwise I find that if it's not in a group it doesn't you can't hear it I don't really know why and that's that channel done click new channel close that window all the settings are in there now for that channel now we'll do an analog channel so number 18 double click now we'll do for GB3 I think it's FI 430.925 is the receive then 438.525 is the TX remember the dot I think let's see anyway analog we'll do a higher power on that one leave all that on we're going to select the TX type so CTCSS tone 77 I think that's about it. RX, it's not APRS. And then to save it, just click next, new next channel. Let's go back in and make sure it's there. Oh, we didn't name it, so give it the name GB3FI at the top here. Like so, just go click next channel. And let's go to what was that? It was my hotspot, so let's name that hotspot hotspot next channel got that and there's a few other channels that aren't named what's this one here is that my hotspot as well yeah it looks like it is receive group one and we'll call it give that one nine and i call that hotspot nine nine next channel so you get the idea and that's it. And then we just write it to radio. Job done. Write to radio. It will come up with your com. Click OK and it will just send it to your radio. 
Hope this helps you add your hotspot and a channel for analog repeater. Bye for now. M0FXP, so you want your radio to show all of the information on the screen, plus talk alias. Watch the next video.